Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the series Blender for Biology. So today I'm going to show how we can make chromosomes, 3D chromosome and we'll see the crossing over in the chromosome by doing a simple animation. So I'm not going to make it more complex. So this is going to be a little long lecture, maybe like 15 to 20 minutes. So let's start with a new file and I hope you have watched my previous videos and you know the basic details. So X for deleting the cube and tilde for going on the top view and shift A and insert a new cube. We can insert cube, icosphere or we, even we can do round cube. So I have not done round cube in my video. So let's go with round cube for this time. So round cube, it doesn't look round like round, it's just a cube. So I'm going to change the nature of this one, increase the radius. Yeah, now it looks good. Tilde for top view and tap to go to edit mode and wireframe, zoom out, top view and okay. Now G for grab and move this one in Y axis. You can make a little on the other direction. And same thing on the bottom, select it, G for grab, and little bit on the x-axis. So what I'm doing, I'm making it a little twisted so that it doesn't look unreal. Yeah, now this is ready. And one thing we need to do is it doesn't look exactly as we wish because there are so many curves. So go to tab and let's do set, okay, tab. Shady smooth, right click, you can do right click for shady smooth. And other thing we can do is we can add <coughs> some modifier. So the first modifier I'm going to use is subdivision subsurface. So uh, first I'll make it just three. And second modifier is displace. For displace mod modifier, I'm going to use cloud. So cloud texture. And change Blender original to improved Perlin or Borono F1. And it doesn't look more textured, so I'm going to change a little bit more things. One thing I'll do is I'll decrease the strength. And the other thing is increase the viewport. 5. And same thing with render. 5. And I'm going to change the strength to minus 0.5. Okay, minus 0.6. It looks little thick, so one thing we can do is make it little elongated on y-axis for that one. Yes for scale. And then if you press y, then it will only elongate on the y-axis. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Now, now second thing we need to do is we need to change that color so for coloring we can just go to texture yeah so go to material properties new and give a new color maybe i'm going to give a blue color to this one so if you go to material preview we can see it blue color and maybe change on the top and bottom so that we can see there is a crossing over going on so for this one go to viewport setting wireframe mode and select the one on the okay i have to select the face yeah just the face and change the material to new material new and we can do a red color nice and then hit assign same thing on the bottom face selection make sure there is a face selection and then new material new and then any random color, maybe like yellow, right? Yellow color, yeah. Assign. Now we can see how it looks like. <coughs> it looks nice, right? Like a chromosome. So let's duplicate this one. Shift D for duplication. And G for grab and X for moving in the X axis. Same thing for the other one. G for grab, X for moving in the X axis. So I'm putting them apart so that I can do some animation later. 
g for grab, x for moving in the x-axis. Okay, so I'm going to change the color on the second one because one chromosome is coming from female parent and other is coming from male parent. They are not exactly the same. There are some differences. So let's go to edit mode, wireframe, and change the color. New. So let's go to pink. Okay. Assign. And the same thing on the other one. New material. New. And any any random color, maybe green color. Yeah. Why not? Assign. So we have successfully done this one. So go out of edit mode. Now looks like there are two different chromosomes coming from two different parents. Now we'll see how they are going to go through crossover. And one other thing we can do is we can do a little bit of twisting. So let's go and let's do a little bit of twisting. Wireframe. So, okay. G for grab. Right. Yeah. G for grab. Yep. G for grab. Yeah, a little bit of twisting. Same for the other one. Tab. G for grab. G for grab, little bit of twisting, same thing on the bottom, G for grab, little bit of twisting, right, same thing on the top, G for grab, little bit of twisting, yeah, now let's see how it looks like, oh, okay, yep, yeah. it doesn't look bad, so we have two chromosomes, <coughs> now we'll see how we can animate them, so for animation, we'll go to timeline and click the first one and N for tools on the side and hit N or you can just go on the side and just see the location. And if you want to do 250 frames, then it is going to be around 10 seconds. That means 250, like 10, 25 frames per second. Or if we go lesser, then we can do less. So for now, let's see, let's go 250. So I insert keyframe on location and we have to do rotation. I on rotation also and hit save. Okay, I'm going to save the file. I have to save it because like last time it crashed and I had to repeat from the beginning. Save blender file. Yeah. So I have to continuously go on saving it. Insert keyframe. Then we go to last keyframe. So maybe just 200 keyframe for seconds. So go to last keyframe. Now we animate this one. So what do we do? G for grab and X on the X axis. Change this one. And we rotate this one. Now you hit press I for inserting keyframe. I insert key keyframe. Again for the second one, go to zero, right? And for this one, I I insert keyframe. Go to last keyframe. Hundred and G for grab. X for moving in X axis. Right here, right right here in R for rotate okay it looks nice so I go here I for insert I for insert and there is a crushing over going on too because the parent already had been crushed over in the parent chromosome and now also it is going to be the second round of crossover so this happens during meiosis 
So when the female gamete or male gamete is being produced, then there is a crossing over going on between the two homologous pairs of chromosome, which like for one comes from female parent, one comes from male parent. So it happens during meiosis, not mitosis. Don't confuse with that one. And now play. Yeah. Yeah. So we have successfully done the first animation of the chromosome. So this is a basic animation. So we can do more in future. So one other thing we need to do is for exporting it out, go to render properties and see like what property you can change. You can change the background if you want to go to film and click this one, it is going to be transparent. And if you need to change other thing. So one thing we can do is change this location. So we can do desktop. And other thing we need to change is PNG. So what it does, it will make frame by frame picture, but we need a video. So we go to FFMPG video and then we need to change other thing is rendering so rendering is going to be av so i'm going to do this one because it doesn't take a lot of time so we do av but cycles rendering there is a cycle rendering much higher quality but it takes more time and before rendering just go and see the render image first if it looks good no it doesn't look good so what we need to do we need to change the camera so it is control option and numpad zero to fix the camera so now we have fixed the camera to current view and now we have to go through if it looks good or not right maybe not because there are something going on so i'm going to change a little bit w Control option numpad zero. Okay, now everything is not in frame again. Let's change again. Okay, now it looks good. Top. Zoom a little bit out and fix the camera. Control option, numpad zero. Okay, everything is in frame now. First, I'll see the first render image. Then I'm going to export it. Okay, so I forgot one thing. So that is the lighting. Let's go and change the lighting because it doesn't look good. Okay. So one thing I can do is I can change the light. So this light on the center change the strength of the light maybe from 1000 to let's change it to 5000 and let's increase the height of the light so it is g for grab and in z axis little bit on the top so i'll do duplication d and g for grab in x axis one right here and Con shift D duplication G for grab and X in the X axis. This one I'll go go in the top view, and this is the rendered view. So you can see the light effect here. And if you do the render image, you will see the light now. Okay, okay, it's not perfect, but this is how we do it. So this is going to be our first animation. So I'll do, I'll go in now I can do rendering render render animation so it may take some time oh okay it's not taking a lot of time because like I have used the low quality stuff so means the quality of my video is low but if you, if I want to get a higher quality then I have to go to cycles rendering and I can probably increase the time also like this is just 25 into 4 means it is going to be 4 seconds so I can do like 10 seconds then maybe it might look good right so this is how we make the chromosome or any other cell, or cell organelle in blender so once the video is being exported I am going to show how it looks like so I hope you have learned from this lesson and 
maybe in the future also I'm going to talk a little bit more on the animation of the chromosome and other stuff. So let's see how the video has come. So it's in the desktop. Okay, I think this should be the one. Yeah. So this is how our video looks like. One more time. Let's see. Yeah. So this is the basic animation of chromosome. So I'll be talking about like how we design other cell organelles and maybe other cell types. And also I'll be talking about like more lighting, cameras and animation. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and like and comment my content. And I'll see you in next lesson. Thank you so much.